all across America, early in the morning you can find a group of old geezers sitting around your local McDonald's or Pearl's Cafe or some donut shop solving all the world's problems. I got some good advice from one such group. They told me when you go to the circus, don't ask the clowns for information. Find the ringmaster. Our problem is the clown is the ringmaster. Dale Hardesty is quite a cut up and just great with these kids, so we're going to kind of feature him today. And he's heading up this thing for Opatia Olympic Peninsula Antique Tractor and Engine Association at the 2022 Kitsap County Fair, the largest county fair in the state of Washington. What year is it? I'd like to acknowledge all those members that brought equipment down to share with the community with a special nod to Randy King for bringing all the corn grinding equipment as well as the corn. I'm here early for two reasons. One is to make sure I get a sliced donut before they disappear. And the second is to have some time to interview some of these guys and get some audio tracks before the noise starts. Since this is a living history type thing, we want to make sure it's interactive and kids are allowed on certain tractors with permission of the owner but don't worry we've got the battery disconnected and lots of brakes and things set so they can play with all the knobs and buttons that they want. The only rule is no blood on the tractors or the ground and the parents have to put them on the equipment. Okay the crowds are starting to show up so I'd like to take you on a quick tour of the Historical Society's building before we get to the main event for today. This beautifully restored U.S. mail truck sits just outside the Historical Society's permanent building on the Kitsap County Fairgrounds. Members of the Olympic Vintage Auto Club team up with the owner each year to bring it down just for the Kitsap County Fair. It's just a beautiful piece of work. When my wife was in high school, she operated this machine on the White Blueberry Farm that used to be on Sylvan Way in East Bremerton. In addition to this portable steam power plant, other old engines are scattered around the building and outside during the fair, including an old Fordson that sits across the sidewalk near one of our displays. All right, Randy, let's get this thing started. Light them off and go to your station. It's a can crusher, and it's got a 1919 economy engine on it, two and a half horsepower. And the rest of the contraption was built by Don Piper. Well, we're looking at a um, garden. It's kind of fine. We're uh, looking at a Pacific pumper made over in Seattle back in the mid 30s, uh, 40s. It's a portable fire pump that was used by the Forest Service uh, to go back up in the uh, backcountry uh, where they could have access to water and use it to fight fire. And uh, it's a two-cylinder, uh, two-stroke engine, and the power uh, head is a uh, Johnson outboard motor head at five horsepower.
field corn. Nice and dry. And you can see the difference here. On the outside, the kernels are a little bit different shape. And then in the center, it's nice and uniform. Back in the old days, they would cut off these ends and use that for feed. And then from these nice uniform pieces, they would use for seed. They get the planter a lot better. The way they did that, they used this in this piece called a rubber. And that leads to the nice uniform piece. And this they would grind for feed. This they would shell for seed. They're going to shell it all here, though, because we're not thinking. it. Then the seed to move over here to the grinder. This is how they prepare cornmeal, grits, chicken feed, hog feed. It's all variable as to uh, how fine you want to grind it. I had this set for a fairly fine grind, but it's not quite meal though. Cut! Cut! <laughs> hey, you want to grind some corn? Fast, go fast, that's it. Keep going, keep going, keep, keep going, going, keep going, going, keep going! Hey, look at that! It spits it out like that, look! Kind of like uh, two teeth left on somebody's teeth, right? But that's what the cob comes out. So how many of you guys know Frosty the Snowman? Frosty the snowman. And so you know the one part where they say they give Frosty a button nose and a corn cob pipe? Well, that's one thing they would use these corn cobs for. Some of the farmers, they would use their cobs and they would make pipes, right? Another thing they used to do is back then, they didn't have gas and they didn't have electricity. Wait, I know how. Out of what? Out of corn. No. They do these they days. They do yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. But they didn't back then. Well and, and out of coal. They they did make they did make whiskey because <laughs> it did the corn didn't spoil if they would distill it. However, at that time they would use wood cook stove. Do any of you have a wood stove in your house? Yeah. It keeps your house nice and warm, doesn't it? Well in the summertime, if you had to cook on a wood stove, it would be hot and it'd be for a long time. So the ladies, the moms and the grandmas would use corn cobs to bake with. They would bake cakes and pies and bread, right? Because it doesn't take as much heat out of a corn cob as it would for a wood. And that's what my mom did. My mom used to use corn cobs to bake with, okay? So reach right in here and grab some of this. Grab a handful and then come over here. You guys want it? You can grab some too. Come on. Grab a handful. Step up here. All right, and just throw it right in there. Just reach right in there. Grab a few kernels. Yep, just throw them in there. Okay, now turn that crank. Just turn that handle. If you got to use two hands, that's okay. Let's see. Okay, yep. Just like you're steering a boat. Just like you're steering a boat if you have to. Can you see it coming out? All right, you guys watch, and then when, when they're turning, you see how it comes out. All right, you see it coming out? Okay, well, you let these come. Let's come on over, you can see it come out, okay? Crank, pull, pull, come on, come on, that's it, that's it, pull. That's hard, isn't it? It's hard. There you go, it's Keep hard. Going. Farm life is hard. There you go. Okay, next, next. You want to? We can get you up there, buddy, don't you worry. Okay, put it in there, okay? No. All right, I can help you a little bit. Okay, that's right, sometimes you gotta, come on. Oh, oh. Well, there you go, there oh. you go, two oh. hands, there you go. Look at how hard that, that's a tough, that's a tough piece of equipment, isn't it? Okay, you next, you ready? You wanna get up there too? Okay, did you get corn? 
All right, come on, Ron. Take the shortcut. Take the shortcut there, short timer. Okay. All right. Come on. That's it. What? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. All right. Come on up here, buddy. You're next. Watch your step. Yep. Hey, he's my brother. His name is Jake. His name is Jake? Okay. No, Jake. Jace. Ah. All right, Jace. Now watch this handle. Because it's right there at your forehead level. Okay, you ready? All right, here we go. Pull. Pull. That's it. Pull. Pull. Come on. That's it. Pull. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. All right. Come on up here, buddy. You're next. Yep. His name is Jake. Okay. Jace. Jace. Ah. All right, Jace. Now watch this handle. Because it's right there at your forehead level. Okay, you ready? All right, here we go. Pull. Pull. That's it. Pull. 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 Oh, man, that's, that's hard, isn't it? That is really, really hard. Okay. Okay, so now. Yeah. So, how many of you guys have gardens? You guys have gardens? Yeah? Okay, well, we're going to give you some corn. And you can plant it next year, right? So then, not this coming Halloween, but the next one, you'll have corn stalks for decorations. Oh, yeah! If you have a go, you can plant them. You want some? Okay, here. Whoop! You're a tough guy. We need another one. We don't, we don't want any blood on the ground. So just one of these? you want to get some plant in yeah, because you, you don't have to have a garden. You can put them in a planter, you know, like a big pot, or something like that big old pot. Yeah, would you like some corn to plant in your garden? Do you have chickens, too? No? All right, well, here. Where's our bag? Reach down and get a bag. Yeah. We don't, we don't. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you don't have to have a garden. You can put them in a planter. You know, like a big pot, like something like that big old concrete thing there, if you had like a big planter. There you go. All right, so, wait a minute, don't go, you're not done yet. We're not done yet. Okay, reach in here and grab some of that corn that you guys just ground. After you want to do it too? All right. How far apart you Four to six inches. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Okay, come over here. Come over here. You're free to take some of these cobs if you need yep. it in the outhouse. What are we grinding? Corn. <laughs> Corn! Oh, we're grinding corn! Oh, yeah. The kids are. My uncle has. Hey, this is my There you go. There you go. Now you've got to be ready to learn. They'll come in. They were here. But I've got to be ready to learn. That's right. So that's all pretty hard work, isn't it? You know what? They said there's an easier way to do this. You see this right here? That engine, that runs that piece of equipment right there that ran you in there, and it grinds stuff up just the corn, just like this. So you don't have to take it and pull that wheel, roll that wheel. Yeah, isn't that cool? So that does what we just did for this, okay? And that one over there, it does the same thing except it's the sheller. You put corn in the ears in the top, and the kernels shoot out the bottom and the cobs come out the back end there. You know how old that thing is? That's yeah. older than your mom and dad. Older Put than your mom's up. mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly, it's right. But then it still works. Yeah. It still works really good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys. What do you guys say to him? Thank you. you are very welcome. So when you're planting that corn and you're, you're harvesting it, because you can harvest that corn and you can feed your squirrels with it, right? And then, uh, or the birds, right? You think of us. And then you come back next year and tell us how tall your corn is, okay? Yeah, we'll be here. That's right. Maybe you can bring it here and we'll grind it into. Yeah. 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 Alrighty, enjoy the fair.
harvest it by hand, right? And then they'd shell it by hand. So this is how they would shell it, right? It's easy because it's hard, right? But if you had to do a whole field of corn, that would do a lot. That would be a lot. So those off, and that's what they would use to grind for animal feed and for themselves, right? So that's a, this is called a nubber, right? So you grab that handle and just crank that baby. Right? Yeah. Now that takes off, right? And then you turn this around and do it again, right? And so that comes out with this. Then you have all these ears, and you know, it gets most of them, you know, but that's, that's nature, right? So then they would take and they would grind the ears. There you go, see? And I pull it down. Crank it down. Crank it in there. Keep going. 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 Uh, right, turn it back the other way. There we go. All right, try it again. Finish that baby up. And then it pops out this way. One lone kernel. All right? So then you have the cop. And what do you, what do you think you do with a cop? Do you just throw them away? Oh, no. No, uh, you use everything on that stock that you can. Cobs included. So you know the the uh, song, Christmas song, Frosty the Snowman? Well, there's a verse in there that says they gave Frosty a button nose and a corn cob pipe. Do you remember that? Do you know that verse? Yeah, yeah that, right here. That's what you're talking about. Yep, it'd be about like that. See how they, they'd hollow it out and they put a little reed in there and that's what it's easier to digest for the animals as well as us right when we're making all these foods so then we grind so grab a handful of kernels no just grab a handful and then put it right in here and then we're gonna you're gonna grind it right sometimes you gotta use low hands especially if you get it started oh you got it going oh you got a rock oh you found a rock a painted rock that that's hard isn't it see crank come on come on put them guns going you yep. watch it coming up okay so that's what it looks like, right? Coming up. Okay. So reach in there. Right? And then you turn this around and do it again. Right? And so that comes out with this. Then you have all these ears and you know it gets most of them. Other way. Other way. Other direction. Other direction. Other porch. There you go, see? And that pulls it down. Crank it out. Crank it in. You don't? Well, wood stoves are really good for heating the house because so they get hot and it stays hot for a long time, which is good in the winter, but in the summertime when they're baking the bread. Thank you.